What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're going to bring you guys another episode of the What Players Wear on the Field series, and today's feature athlete is going to be Dolphins superstar speedster wide receiver Tyreek Hill. Just in case you guys are new to these videos or just need a little refresher about what we do, what we do is we take a player for this episode, it's going to be Tyree Kill, and we talk about their gear head to toe. I'm going to tell you guys what the product is, why the player wears it, what colorways they wear it in, and where you guys can find it for yourself. Also, just before we get into the video, leave a comment below who you guys want to see featured in the next episode. We're going to kick things off by starting at the top, and we're going to talk about the helmet first. Tyree Kill is one of the many NFL wide receivers to be in the shut F7. Tyreek has been in the F7 for about three to four years now. He made the switch from the shut air XP, I think shortly after his rookie season. It seems like most of the smaller guys in the NFL, like Tyreek Kill, seem to gravitate towards shut helmets because they are truly kind of a smaller, more low-key shell, and they are much lighter than some of the options from Riddell. Also, of course, the shut F7 is a top-rated football helmet according to the Virginia Tech Helmet Rating Scale. It scores a perfect five out of five, and the reason this helmet is so safe is because of these unique panels you guys see on the top of the helmet. These are what shut calls their tectonic plates, and what they do is when a player gets hit from the side like that, these actually rotate independently from the rest of the shell to help disperse some of that rotational impact. So perfect for wide receivers who are experiencing hits from middle linebackers and safeties over the middle. Overall, the Shut F7 is an awesome option for skill players because it's lightweight, it looks pretty cool, and it's also really safe and comfortable. Unfortunately, since the season's kind of underway for most of you guys out there, the Shut F7 is pretty tough to find, but we will leave a link in the description to get one from our good friends over at Green Gridiron. Also, just something to keep in mind as you guys watch this video, every single product we talk about in this video will be linked below in the description so you guys can literally shop Tyree Kill's Locker, get exactly what you need, get the same stuff. And a lot of those links are actually affiliate links, so they help us out, so thank you guys so much for that. Now it's time to talk about the face mask on Tyreek Hill's helmet. He wears the F7-TEGOP face mask. What that code means, the F7 part stands for what helmet this is for. Obviously, this face mask is for the shut F7. The T stands for titanium, which is a lightweight face mask material. The EG stands for those eye guards you guys see at the top of the face mask. And then OP is oral protection, which is the lower part of the face mask. Also, as you guys can see, I do have the same face mask on my shut F7, and I think it looks absolutely incredible. I love this helmet. I love this look. It's awesome for wide receivers. If you guys want to get this face mask for yourself, Green Gridiron has the titanium one for $150 and then the regular steel option for just $50. Bucks. Link below. Next up, we're going to talk about Tyree Kill's visor. Tyree Kill is wearing the Oakley Clear Pro Visor. This is a super simple clear visor from Oakley. Oakley is the NFL optics provider since 2019, so every single player in the NFL has to wear an Oakley visor. Also, just in case you guys don't really know why people wear visors, visors are an excellent way to help protect your eyes. So turf, fingers, all those kind of stuff can get into your eyes as you play football, and a visor helps block a lot of that out. He wears this visor with Oakley's quick release clips, which are quickly becoming standard around the NFL. If you guys want to grab the Oakley Clear Pro Visor for yourself, it's going to cost you about 70 bucks from Green Good Earn, linked in the description below. Now we have the final piece of Tyree Kill's helmet setup, and that's going to be the Sports Star Victory T-Rex Hurricane Chin Strap. These chin straps are super popular in the NFL for a number of reasons. First off, they look great. They're white, they're unbranded, they look super clean. They have a medical grade foam, which is going to help absorb more contact. It's super comfortable and also helps prevent that awful chin acne. Simply put, these chin straps are awesome. I do have them on all of my helmets, if you guys have seen. I think we have a full video on these chin straps, so go check that video out if you guys haven't. But yeah, Tyree Kill loves this thing. If you guys want to get the exact same chin strap as the Cheetah, Green Gritter and has them for 32 bucks. As we continue to make our way down, we're at the shoulders, which means it's time to talk about shoulder pads. Tyreek Hill is in the Pro Gear shoulder pads. When Tyreek was with the Kansas City Chiefs, he was wearing the X-Tech X2 shoulder pads, but since being traded to Miami, he has switched into the Pro Gears. Pro Gear is a very underrated company out of Florida, and they seem to be very popular among Dolphins and Jaguars players. These shoulder pads are comfortable, they allow for plenty of range of motion, and most importantly for the Cheetah, they're super lightweight. Obviously, Tyreek Hill wants to keep his gear light, and Pro Gear allows him to do that. He also rocks Pro Gear's teardrop backplate, which is going to help protect that lower back and add to that swag factor. And lucky for you guys, these shoulder pads aren't that expensive. You guys can head over to Pro Gear's website. The shoulder pads themselves are customizable and they're 290 bucks. And then the back plate is 45. Next, we're going to talk about one of the most important accessories for a wide receiver, the gloves. For a couple games this season, Tyree Kill has been wearing the Grippu Stealth 4.0 gloves. The entire glove is that aqua teal color. And then the peace sign on the palm is orange. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this, but Tyree Kill is actually a part owner at Grip Boost and has his very own signature glove with his Cheetah Peace sign on the palm. When Tyree Kill was going to the end zone before his Grip Boost gloves, he would put up the peace sign and the NFL was constantly finding him. So Tyreek went to the guys at Grip Boost and said, hey, let's put a peace sign on the palm. So now when Tyreek Hill is going to the end zone, all he has to do is put up a hand as if he's doing a stiff arm and his peace sign is on full display to just disrespect every defender he's burned. But yeah, the Grip Boost Stealth 4.0 is an excellent glove. It's lightweight, super tight fitting, super grippy, and obviously helps Tyreek Hill suck in these balls. All right. 
But yeah, the Grip Boost Stealth 4.0 is an excellent glove. It's lightweight, it's tight fitting, and the grip on it is insane. If you guys want to get these gloves, they're 45 bucks from Grip Boost. They have more than just the peace sign off. They got a couple different options, so go check them out on their site. Now, for a couple of games this year, Tyree Kill has been wearing the brand new Grip Boost Stealth 5.0. These are a brand new glove from Grip Boost and are a lot different from past models. This glove is going to be a little bit more durable, more sticky, and more stuck on your hand than the past model. If you guys are interested in more information about the Grippu Stealth 5.0, we have an entire full review on the channel, so go check that out if you guys haven't already. But so far, Tyreek Hill has worn these in two colorways this season. In the games, he's wearing a white pair with a gray camo, and then the other pair he wore in practice is white with orange accents, which I think is way cooler, and I hope he pulls them out in game sometime later this season. If you guys want, you guys can grab the Grip Boost 5 from Grip Boost website for $49. Now, lastly, we've made it all the way to the bottom. It's time to talk about the cleats. Tyreek Hill is still wearing the Adidas Adi Zero 6.0s. Tyree Kill has been wearing these cleats for pretty much his entire career. When you find something that works, you stick with it. That's what a lot of guys in the NFL seem to do. The Adi Zero 6.0 is one of the lightest cleats ever. These things are built like a track spike. They're super lightweight. They have a super thin upper. So you're not really going to get a ton of support. But what Tyree Kill does to combat that is he spats them up. Overall, these cleats are perfect for the speedster and help him accomplish speeds nobody else can even think about and they are a crucial piece to his game day look. Now, if you guys want to get these cleats for yourself, there's a bunch of pairs floating around on eBay, so if you guys can find a pair in your size, go ahead, grab them. Be fast like Tyreek Hill. Cheeto! There you guys have it. There's a full head-to-toe gear breakdown on Dolphins wide receiver Tyreek Hill. Come back next Monday and let us know in the comments who you guys want to see featured in the next episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, consider hitting like, comment, subscribe for more videos just like this one. My name is Devin, also known as FBE, and thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Footballers.